started doing the group rides, which is where we met Justin and Lori, and at their bike shop too. They've helped us out a lot. Uh, got my e-bike. Community is amazing. Like I meet, like I haven't met half the people that are out here yet. Like there's just so many people in this group, and each time I come out here, there's somebody new I'm meeting. And every single time I meet someone, they're just like, "Hey, how's it going?" I'm like, "Hey, cool. I'm part of this. This is awesome." <laughs> it's it. It's just a friendship that you don't even realize that you have with every single person every single time you come out here. And even at the jump lines, I've met people just here first. And then on the trails, every time we take a pause, somebody else comes by the trail and they'll pause and they'll be like, hey, you guys doing okay? And I'm like, yeah, we're doing great. We're just taking a breather. All right, cool. If you need anything, just holler. And then they keep going on the trail and it's just nothing beats the community that, that comes with the bike park. I started out on my Walmart bike, which was a very, very bad decision. <laughs> not a full suspension bike, which is what you need out here. Not, not very long. And I use Thursdays is here at Faulkner, and it's just a group of people, and they, you just get in a line, you just follow each other, and it's awesome. A bike going through the trails rather than walking, you got, you get the rush of how fast you're going. You get the rush of going over jumps rather than stepping over them or going downhill and hit a turn. And it's cooler too. It's, oh my god! It's just so much more fun. It's. It's, it's temperature. Nothing beats the thrill of it. <laughs> Very well, sir. Thank you. <laughs> cool. East Texas Trail Team. And they're just a group of guys that work with the city and they're like really tight knit. It's really crazy how much work they do. We have, they're sometimes out here like 20 hours a week. It's really wild. There it is. Look at all that. September race is Labor Day weekend. September 1st, right? And guess what? We have an e-bike series and he's got, well, she has a rail, but really he can like rip it up with us. What up y'all? It's Lori the Bike Chick from oh, Faulkner Park. We're doing a work day. Everybody. Show me your tool. Like that right there is Sh Which tool did you want to see? Know. This one? Yeah, that one or that one? one right yeah. We, wow. We got more people. Hey, look at Nika. Nika Trail Crew. Nike Trail Crew, Nike Trail Crew, yeah. They were like, re they were ready. Yeah. Number through 12th grade can race Texas Nike. Check it out on East Texas Nike Facebook page. Okay. Yeah. He's yeah. yeah. over there. He's getting it. You want me to hold the blower or like look more aggressive, like more trill? <laughs> <laughs> like, we need a whole like this. Got it. Perfect. And then like, <laughs> whoosh. Probably only need to get like shoulders up. <laughs> She's got pink little- What? Does it have a fan on it? Man, that'll be pimping. Did you see that? Oh, something new. We reached the point where. Oh, wait. We reached the point George, where. George, 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 the jungle. Oh. No more hopping. No more hopping. Sorry. Devastation. Big storm. So many people showed up today. They want to ride their bike. <laughs> the thing's closed. Like, so the most used trail in our area. Hey, Blake. You're not. You keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> See, they don't put all this in here. I'm making her brain go poo poo. <laughs> 20 years ago, we only had one trail, and it was Tyler State Park, and it probably got 50 miles of trail within East Texas that you can get in a car and drive 20 minutes here. He's like, <laughs> when do y'all want to rake? I came back. The worm? Bye, buddy. <laughs> yeah. What y'all gonna do with that hand saw? She's like, she likes the way Jordan walks through the puddles. <laughs> Here's how Jordan walks through the puddles. <laughs> I'm all going through this one. <laughs> Here, here's a Jordan walk. She's like, I need some boots like yours. I get, whoa. What? So this right here is a whale tail. And this is actually a feed, like the whole, it's like a little bike park connected right next to the mountain bike trail itself. Three. You can call them jump lines, but all of them are like rollable and safe, except for this is that has some skill. Two lines, I think were fourteen thousand dollars. And the reason is is because that soil had to be purchased, this wood had to be purchased, and even like way up there, this is real cool. Like it's really cool. I can even insert some or send you some videos for that. The bike park, the same stuff that's in Bentonville, Arkansas. But it takes money. It takes two types of digging, pockets and shovels. Our park bike trails are one step closer to reopening thanks to a group of volunteers. Our reporter, Meredith Billing, shows you what they tackled just this morning. 
fallen trees and soggy soil have prevented bike riders from taking to the trail since the latest round of storms. But over 30 volunteers, like longtime rider Lauren Simpson, said a few days was long enough. They want to ride their bike. The things close, like so the, the, they will close the trail if it's not safe to ride or if it's wet. People scattered through over 15 miles of trail, trucking puddles and clearing debris. We knew there was some, some type of cleanup that was going to happen. We knew we wanted to volunteer to be able to come out and help out for the amount of work that the people, like the crew comes out and does building everything. We wanted to be able to pretty much offer our like thanks in a way for and form of volunteering. They turned out for Bryce Simpson, but she said some trails were even more repair. There's going to be a lot of rerouting because literally the water has rutted the whole trail out, or most of the trail, not all of it. I mean, it's there. They're trying to reroute it where we can ride it safely. She said this trail's operation is essential. This is the most used trail in East Texas. Like, it is massively used. That's why we're trying to clean this one up first, because it's used so much. They're here to give people options of exercise. They're here to give people options of having fun more than just going to the lake or something. Like, you can come out here and get an exercise and not even feel like you're exercising. Like, it's a rush. <laughs> Nothing beats the community that, that comes with the bike park. Meredith Dillon's East Texas News Weekend. The volunteers had already cleared trails in White House, Simpson said. Their next stop will be Lindsay Park. There's a timber race coming up <laughs> at Lindsay Park. And so these two are like new to the biking computer, or not computer. Computer? Community. <laughs> he's, he's new to the, they're new to the cycling community. No, no more than just doing some lawn work. Timber race is Labor Day weekend. September 1st, right? And guess what? We have an e-bike series. And he's got, a, well, she has a rail, but really he can like rip it up with us. And so we do the timber race. We work the timber race. Volunteers need it. And then at like 2 o'clock, we just rip the crud out of our e-bikes. And they mash the girls all in there. But, you know, I can hang. You guys watch, but you got to subscribe.